mm-hmm. and uh, it's part of the act conference and uh, so uh, if i can start with the formal introduction it's yeah sure uh, to have with us today uh, captain gopinath captain gopinath uh, very well you know known for translating and transforming the indian aviation sector and why we all fly from here to there and many of us forget to even uh, you know travel by train which is something which we grew up with and uh, you know at the age of uh, 11 when i first got onto a plane it was a rare thing because my father had an assignment which was paid for by the united nations and we got to fly so now when i get onto this plane at the age of 11 everyone is looking at us i mean and looking at me and kind of smiling away because maybe i was just looking mm. so happy to be on a plane for the first time uh, but today our children just kind of you know uh, grow up and uh, travel from the time they are toddlers they are always on the plane so that is thanks to you sir thank you uh, thank you so much thank you so much uh, so i'll uh, you know uh, his journey uh, students you would notice he started uh right in the heart of karnataka and his father was a school teacher but he didn't think that he came to school was a good idea so he started by schooling himself in the early years and straight off uh, after a few years of that he landed up in sanic school and then it was sanic all, uh, all the way uh joining the national academy graduating and uh, joining the indian military academy uh, at dehradun uh subsequently to that uh, captain gopinath joined the army and uh, did us proud by fighting in the indo pak war which india won in 1971 a uh, few years down the line and it was calling waiting for him and he decided to uh, leave the indian army at the very young age of 28 years uh subsequent to that he went back uh, to farming went back home and uh, decided to take up even uh, you know in those very early years uh, he decided to do sustainable uh, sericulture uh, which is silk farming and uh, made a mark over there and won the rolex enterprise award uh, at that stage itself uh, after that he tried his hand at a number like a true serial entrepreneur he tried his hand at uh, setting up restaurants and uh, hotels and of course a retail venture with enfield so that was the early part but uh, somewhere i think flying is you know what you were meant for and you started with uh, the helicopter service moving on to the air charter service and uh, in 2003 air decken was born and uh, i hope the statistics on the net are correct it was started with a capital of 5 crore rupees and in 4 years it had a valuation of 1.1 billion dollars so uh, what a phenomenal journey uh, the wow. dream uh, that captain gopinath had at the time of starting air decken was really uh, it was uh, seeing the 99% of indians who had never been in a plane and trying to fulfill that dream he uh, saw it as an opportunity and he saw it as a need to people people to access this uh, very very useful uh, mode of transport and thereby grow the country as you save so much time as well but he was very clear it was an airline for the masses and that was the very no frills option with uh, which was pioneered by in india by captain gopinath all the other airlines were kind of like a dream uh, to you know for the middle class person to uh, reach but air decken brought it down uh, you know to all of us and made it accessible to the masses of india however the uh, challenge started when uh, i mean uh, please correct me if i'm wrong it is i try to search it a bit and of course it's a story which is you know so close to the heart of so many of us so comes in mr vijay malia and uh, there is a offer to uh, get air decken because uh, king fisher was positioned as a premium and he saw the scale that air decken had and the huge market share they had and what a easy way it is to acquire uh, and treat it maybe as a merger 
so the offer was put before captain gopinath but after uh, you know thinking and contemplating he decided not to go for it in the initial round but uh, we all know how aggressive mr malia is and he made it really difficult for air deccan to uh, survive economically and though captain gopinath tried everything to continue to be independent with air deccan and perhaps things would have been very different uh, it was not so of course the uh, you know uh, though he was a first mover uh, there were the other airlines which realized the great opportunity and we got the indigo go and the spice jet into the fray all of this increased the competition and then there was malia around the corner with his big bucks and things became uh, such that it led to the formation of kingfisher red uh, and uh, it was a great uh, you know start and uh, it was nice as a passenger we enjoyed all of it but unfortunately uh, the good times did not last <laughs> <laughs> it just fitted so well while i was speaking somehow uh, so uh, we you know uh, had the challenge of kingfisher out and of course the uh, industry which you pioneered today uh, is led by players like indigo and they make lots of money uh as a true entrepreneur should uh, captain gopinath uh, also has ventured into politics and i think it is like uh, we need really entrepreneurs like you we need leaders like you today and uh, yeah and when we kind of you know uh, from where i am we look to who can lead us uh, other than uh, the ruling party we are just looking around so maybe it is a time for a different set of leaders uh, to at least have a strong opposition if not a you know government is strong but we need a strong opposition as well so i uh, will say do as well like you and maybe we also need to be more active and the youth of today also need to think uh, more and get out of uh, the online medium that we are using but use this medium to create leadership which is meaningful uh, i'll just share with you a uh, couple of statements of captain gopinath which i found very inspiring and which uh, when we uh, you know uh, teach entrepreneurship and want to inspire students i think it fits very well long back around 12 years back uh, i found the statement you had used to entrepreneurs lose yourself in action not in despair a uh, very fitting in today's time and uh, create, you know it conveys that very powerful <clears throat> message that if you want to be an entrepreneur uh, why you may keep dreaming all the while but it is all about action simply just dreaming and having the big ideas and waiting for that magical idea is not enough action and that is what captain gopinath is a man of action completely uh so uh recently uh, the movie that was launched which is based on the book which is written by him what else but simply fly a uh, true story of a person who simply wanted to i think always just simply fly a uh, beautiful title and uh, many of you uh, may have uh, seen the movie as well uh, i'm waiting for it to come out in hindi uh, or english uh, dubbed i don't think it's there but uh, definitely uh, the movie is uh, surarai potru which all the students of course already know uh, it kind of uh, will touch on the story of uh, captain gopinath but i think truly if you really want to uh, listen and read the story you have to read the book because that is uh, the true autobiography and of course you know, getting a taste of it by watching uh, the movie which has just uh, you know recently been uh, uh, so uh, captain gopinath over the time has received a few awards and i say few uh, i think okay. there are many more than these uh, uh the right from the rolex awards at a younger age to the rajyotsav award the chevalier du la lion uh, award uh, in france okay. is uh, given by the french government the history uh, of the golden award the awards are too little uh, we are honored to have you with us captain gopinath and we <coughs> forward to listening to your story 
to listening to uh, what you think uh, the Indian aviation sector, uh, what is it lacking? Why do we have this constant sick aviation, you know, uh, sector? Why do the, you know, why do you need spice jets uh, adjacent to come and turn it around? Why doesn't it just keep soaring anyways? So uh, thank you so much uh, for joining Captain Gopinath. Over to you, sir. Uh. हरिराम जी चिट्ठी खोल के पढ़ो तो भैया दिल्ली से है बेटे की अरे ये तो प्लेन का टिकट है हाँ? अरे सुनो रे प्लेन का टिकट पे जाए हरिराम के बेटे ने Over to you, sir. You are audible. Yeah. Am I? Am I audible? Uh, yes, sir. You're yeah. Uh, okay. But I, but I don't see any video uh, of uh, anybody. Is it okay? Uh, can I start? Uh, yes, sir. Please start. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, uh, Professor Mridula. Uh, uh, you have been very kind and uh, very generous. Uh, and... Uh, <clears throat> uh the description was so overwhelming i'm a little <laughs> uh touched by it uh, actually speechless um i think you have been uh, too generous in, in your praise and uh, so thank you for that it's a great uh, privilege uh, to be addressing uh, all of you and uh, uh I'm fortunate that I'm able to speak to young, young students uh, from Bits Pilani, uh, sorry, Bits uh, Goa, and I think possibly other colleges uh, that are joining us. Uh, the, the, that short film uh, was shown to you because uh, uh, I, I felt that, uh, that that that's a good setting to to get, to to start the talk. Uh, because uh, that film, you know, which is an ad uh, for A. Deccan, 
became very famous and, very, and uh, won a lot of awards in those days. And uh, the idea of that film was, uh, uh, you know, that Edekin not only broke the cost, the cost barrier, uh, we also broke the cast barrier. Uh, that was actually our first uh, advertisement uh, in the newspaper and the holdings. We had single class, we had no upper class and business class and economy class. Uh, it was one class and uh, we, it, was, it was an airline for the masses. So the ad said, we are not only making the cost barrier, but the cast barrier. And uh, the film was too long. It was about two minutes. He's a fa famous actor, Murali. It was not a typical ad. So we made it like a story. And uh, the problem was, as you know, in uh, 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 the problem was, as you know, in a, in a, in a ad, you know, you, you cannot have it more than 15, 20, 30 seconds. The moment you have an ad, which is uh, very long, the cost goes up. So our advertising, uh, uh, you know, head, uh, John Kurvila in those days, you know, the marketing head, uh, he came up with this idea along with his team, which said that, uh, uh, how do you bring down this cost? Because we can't afford this kind of advertisement cost. So he went to the uh, television channels and said that um, reduce your you know ad charges uh, almost to, his, almost to uh, a, a, a very token nominal amount. And we put hoardings all across India we said, uh, go to this particular channel uh, and watch the uh, Old Man in the Sky movie. So we drove the people to watch the channel that increased the TRP ratings and uh, uh, and the the advertisement costs uh, came down. And uh, so that was a kind of innovation. Anyway, I just uh, thought this was uh, relevant to my talk today because uh, when I asked the ad agency to make a movie for me, I didn't want him to create a typical ad, you know, which uh, which says it's meant for poor people, uh, meant for people of the, uh, the you know lower middle class. I wanted to wanted wanted them to feel good, and uh, and uh, one of the way of doing it was uh, to create this emotion uh, of uh, the, you know uh, anybody who has a dream to fly. Um, as a common man, should be able to do that, and uh, and uh, you know uh, make an attempt, uh, uh, you know, to, to break his uh, uh, you know habit of uh, flying, because for an entrepreneur, it is not uh, uh, this is not it is not enough if he just uh, creates a, a product. He has to be in the forefront of creating a consumer shift. And uh, so I, I, I wanted to create a story in such a manner that uh, the people, you know, will, will feel uh, that uh, they can actually fly. You know, it is no longer uh, something which is, uh, uh, you know, unre unreachable. It was within their grasp. And along with this ad, that's what we did. We, we, we gave a one rupee ticket. And uh, the mascot for my airline was not Amitabh Bachchan or Shah Rukh Khan, but the Akhe Lakshman, um, the great cartoonist, a common man. And we put him as a mascot and um, we announced a one rupee ticket. And that kind of uh, created an implosion in society where people uh, uh, who were security guards, uh, who were, uh, you know, uh, the uh, people who are uh, mechanics and barbers, um, uh, clerks, nurses, who never ever dreamt of flying, uh, you know, began to fly. So that created the, the implosion in a, in a tectonic shift in a consumer uh, market. So because the idea was to expand the market. And uh, because there were only two other airlines in those days, Jet Airways and uh, Sahara. And uh, our idea was not to uh, 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 you know, cannibalize the passengers of jet airways by competing with them. I said you have to compete with the trains, and uh, and 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 I wanted to uh, give this kind of uh, film because the idea came to me on a flight when uh, 
uh, when I when I used to fly in those flights and serve the people because we had to sell everything from water to snacks. There was a lady there uh, who was uh, from a village. I could make out from her uh, uh, talk and clothing. And uh, and uh, when when the when the plane landed, I asked her where is she from, and she said she was from uh, somewhere near uh, uh, Faridabad in UP. And her son was in Infosys uh, and who had purchased a 500 rupee ticket and sent it to her. And so when the plane landed, uh, this lady, uh, you know, uh, looked at the pilot because the door was a bit ajar. And she said in Hindi that uh, Captain Saab, uh, aapka pilot jo hai, Hanuman jaise, jaise the, uh, you know, Sanjeevni buti uthaya, Hanuman jaise ye plane ko le- 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 uh, he 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 flew the plane as though he was a Hanuman, and uh, one guy, little guy, but carrying 180 passengers. So that are the kind of uh, people who are traveling. And then that's when I got this idea that uh, the people were from small towns, either you know because they were not in a position to buy these tickets, but the youngsters who had graduated from colleges like yours were from many of them from middle class families who had never flown and uh, and if they were posted in Bangalore or Bombay uh, they got their parents over or their in-laws over through a eight second ticket so we gave away not uh, one or two but you know more, more than about 200 300 thousand tickets at one rupee and 500 rupees because the no plane goes 100 percent uh, full so there were empty seats and uh, that triggered this uh, implosion so they could uh, uh, you know c- keep coming to me as an inexhaustible customer source so i said we had to compete with the train and not with the airlines uh, so that was the background to this uh, movie and uh, i told the producer to create the imagery from my own childhood because that school that you saw there was the kind of school that i went to i went barefoot to a school a Canada medium school and uh, my father was a teacher as a professor Manudala introduced me uh, during introduction. Uh, he was a teacher in a, in, a, in a school, and like all teachers, he was a poor teacher. But what he uh, gave me was, uh, like many of our parents, good aristocratic values. He taught me uh, never to envy. Uh, our childhood was uh, full of sunshine because there was no envy. Uh, I, we never looked up to the, the rich man, but he always uh, taught me to see the people on the fields, in the farms, the laborers, because when you see them, then you realize how blessed blessed you are. He himself was poor, but there were people poorer than him. And it was he who taught me that, you know, uh, don't do not envy, don't lose yourself in despair. You have to lose yourself in action, as Abdullah said. But anyway, now coming back to uh, uh, the, the topic that I want to speak to you about, uh, you know, it was uh, Goethe, the German poet. Uh, am I audible to everybody? Hello? Uh, yes, sir, you're audible. Yeah. Uh, the, the Goethe, the German poet, uh, who said, dare to dream and begin it. Dare to dream and begin it. Uh, Boldness has genius and magic to it. So it is the first step for an entrepreneur. It is the first step for anybody who wants to make something of his life. You have to dream and you have to dream big. But uh, it is not enough to dream. Uh, You have to combine your dream with adventure. Combine your dream with venture. Uh, Dreaming uh, and not doing. Uh, you know, uh, is is is, uh, is is not going to get you anywhere. And if you if you are doing things but uh, unable to dream big, then you will be slogging without without a, a big vision in your life. So, uh, and to to be able to dream, you should uh, see things which others are not seeing. Uh, as uh, uh, Bernard Shah said, you see things and ask why. You see things and ask why. I I dream things that never were. I dream things that never were. And I ask, why not? So, you know, some people dream uh, uh, 
but but uh, but but they are dreaming you know too small you have to dream big so that requires the ability to uh, to see beyond um, therefore you know uh, there's a very famous saying we said that um, uh, vision is the art of seeing the invisible you know it's a paradox you know vision is to see but vision is the art of seeing the invisible the invisible is the future an entrepreneur should be able to visualize the future which he can see and not others um, it was true as is an edekan because when i started edekan they said there is a market um, they said uh, there is only you know you can't start a low cost airline without internet um, penetration with credit card penetration so they said there is only 1% uh, flying and i said uh, but i'm looking at the 99% who are not flying and that was very true because uh, because i was seeing uh, the 99% who are not flying and everybody was seeing the 1% who was, who was flying and i said there's no market so uh, so but to to be able to pursue you pursue your dream and to pursue uh, uh, your your vision uh, you need to believe in yourself uh that is the, the you know the key to everything else you have to believe in in yourself uh, there's a proverb in kannada which says angaina kunnige kannada kannadi beke you know if you have an abscess on your palm do you need a mirror you can see it yourself you don't need a mirror the mirror is usually a consultant or a guru so uh, there is a inner prompting to all of us that that uh, flashes in, in our in, across, across our inner mind uh, and when that flashes uh, you know uh, is a, is a glimmer which is pointing to you and to you alone and you and and it is prompting you and um, and you you have to listen to that uh, most people don't listen to what what they are you know you know hearing what is uh, flashing in their uh, you know mind's eye and uh, uh, and that listening to that that relying on your inner prompting that is intuition and uh, you know the rest is all tuition uh, i'm not decrying tuition i mean on the tuition that you get in pilani in uh, bits goa or iit but uh, that is tuition but you know but your tuition uh, you, you know is analysis is knowledge but uh, uh, for a, for great undertakings and great enterprises you need to rely on your intuition uh, you know it was um, it is uh, there is a story that uh, when columbus uh, who was an italian uh, uh, you know, st- stood at the end of the um, uh, you know uh, uh, sea in, in in spain and looked beyond uh, to the to the uh, to the west he saw the the you know uh, vastness of the sea and an idea came to him that uh, if he is standing on land and if there is a sea on the other side or the ocean on the other side the land you know cannot balance itself if there is land only on one side so there must be land on the other side you know between uh, other side of the ocean so it was an intuition and he went and told the king of italy i, I want to you know sail and look for lands on the other side of the ocean because the, the, the sea cannot balance itself unless there's also land on the other side i mean it was a it was a strange intuition and the italian kings you know did not uh, believe him but the spanish kings you know funded him uh, so in a sense the first venture capitalists for an entrepreneur uh, was uh, you know, the spanish kings and he set sail um, uh, and then discovered uh, america uh, of course he had heard of uh, the 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 gold in india and the and the rich of india richness of india but he he eventually landed up in america and uh, so so what columbus was doing in a sense was uh, relying on his intuition so you, you need to have this uh, ability to ability to rely on your uh, on your, uh, your you know inner promptings 
so uh, self trust uh, you know is the, uh, the first secret of success um, uh, i'm not talk I'm not, don't confuse it for arrogance uh, the, the self trust in the sense of you know following what you believe the courage to follow your your beliefs your courage to follow your intuition that is the first secret of success for an entrepreneur uh the the uh second uh, thing that we you need uh, the reason why i am getting into general uh, generalities is because uh, it's not the uh, right for me to ask you to do what i did you had to discover your own dreams and your own passions and you had to beat your trails and uh, if you asked uh, any of the the greatest uh, scientists whether it was einstein who said uh, i'm not a genius he said but i'm infinitely uh, more curious uh, and and he said i stay with the problem longer um, when you when newton was asked as to how he discovered gravity he said by uh, intending my mind all the time so genius is nothing but the capacity to take infinite pains and uh, and in my own case i did many ventures uh, many of them uh, failed uh, but you know you have to get up so the art of uh, entrepreneurship or the art of life is to get up each time you fall uh, uh, it is not the falling it is getting up each time you fall and uh, i think every scientist or every entrepreneur who has achieved something he has achieved it because uh he never gave up um uh, you know the surest answer is um try one more time and that should be written try one more time uh never give up you you are a failure uh, not when you fall but when you stop rising uh so the next the thing that requires for this is persistence you know perseverance that uh, that what is the, the chal if they say in hindi or hata in kannada that uh, uh, you are not finished when you when you when you when you are defeated you are finished only when you quit so do not quit uh, the, uh, so it means if if uh, if something is not working don't quit you know change your um, change your um, methods change your business plan change your um, uh, strategy change your this one or, or, or give that up particular business and start a new new venture uh, but uh, never give up you know that is that is the key to uh, success talent is not enough uh, there are many people who are talented but they don't get anywhere uh, you know uh, so what what is the thing that ultimately gets you is perseverance um you know a, a man accustomed to hard work is equal to any achievement uh, i mean uh, there is no way that has been found um for heroism or for success uh, there is no shortcut uh, without hard work uh, so that is the that is the thing so because uh, the, you know i started uh, my uh, helicopter company first um and uh, uh everybody asked me how did you start a, a capital intensive business uh without uh, you know capital and uh, so uh you know i was uh, uh 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 playing squash with my army colleague in an army club i was it was an ex army pilot and um, and uh, he and i were chatting he was uh, without a job and i said uh, why aren't you getting a job he said uh, you know he was still about 40 uh, captain samuel but uh, outstanding pilot a gallantry award winner uh, he had left the army and uh, finally he got a job as a uh, administrative officer in a courier company and i was shocked and he didn't get a job because uh, uh, you know uh, there were no uh, uh, helicopters and uh, and uh, and suddenly uh, this this idea flashed across my mind the one day he said why don't we start a helicopter company 
uh, and he said let's uh, you know do it with uh, spraying crops for the uh, uh, with pesticides you know i said no i said there's no future there but uh, but this this idea kept in my mind it's kept annoying me and the more i looked at it i found that there were hundreds of pilots uh, from the army air force and navy without a job there were uh, a country which was on the way to reforms and uh, and um, there was not a, uh, uh, yeah, you know, uh, 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 the, the, the country was on the way to reforms. There were pilots without jobs and there was not a, there was not a single helicopter company. So that was my moment of uh, epiphany, ep- epiphany, because I said, oh my God, there's no competition for me because we had five, six uh, businessmen like the Birlas, uh, even Ambani's in those days didn't have a helicopter. Uh, there were, you, you know, you had the Tatas and the Birlas who had some helicopters. Uh, there were uh, helicopters for, uh, uh, you know, uh, either political patronage or for uh, for their own use. Uh, once in a way, uh, there were no helicopters for the common man, uh, or for the uh, uh, for the not for the common man. There were no helicopters for the customers uh, who could afford them, and. Uh, so therefore, uh, because not everybody can own a helicopter, but they can af- uh, 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 afford to hire it. And uh, this idea suddenly flashed my mind. And I said, okay, I told my friend, resign your job and let's start a helicopter company. I never asked how much does a helicopter cost? Um, because uh, 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 the first thing was, uh, you know, that if you have a, a, an idea, because I, I realized that, you know, you know, even in those days, Brazil had about 500 helicopters. India had, uh, I'm talking of 1995, 1996, Brazil had about 500 helicopters. Malaysia had about 45. Philippines had about 80. Forget America, uh, USA, which had uh, uh, something like about uh, uh, 20,000 helicopters. Um, Europe had about uh, 13,000 helicopters. Even UK had about 200 helicopters. India had about some. Uh, 15 or 15 or 16 helicopters so i i didn't need uh, I, I didn't need a, 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 a mckinsey uh, uh, to analyze the that there was a market there and so i said there is demand and and so we have pilots we have engineers uh, and and that's how i decided to set up a helicopter company so uh, it took us 3 years to get a get a license and uh, of course we're all under the impression that uh, there is corruption, uh, and so without money, you can't get anything done, which is true most of the time. But uh, if you take a, a, a you know bag of a suitcase with money, uh, you know a fool and his money is, are soon parted, as they say. Somebody will come and disperses you of your suitcase the moment you reach Delhi. But if you say I'm not going to pay, I'm going to keep going. It may take one year, it may take two years, it may take three years. I will not give up. I'll keep pursuing till I get my license. So that's what my friend and I did. We kept going to Delhi. We stayed in friends' houses. Um, we did not stay in hotels. Not forget five-star hotels, even ordinary hotels. We stayed, stayed in army messes. We stayed in my friends' houses. And we kept going, kept going, you know, not giving up. And finally, uh, you know, we got the license because somebody will open the door for you. And uh, I am superstitious in that manner, that uh, if you are courageous and if you are hardworking and if you want, if you want it badly enough, believe me, if you if you dream something, like Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it, and that is very true. Um, that uh, if you work hard, you get luckier. If you really want something, I have seen it all the time in my life, that falls on your lap. It has a way of materializing. If you really, you know, wish to follow a dream and want to pursue an idea and create something, then it always happens. As Emerson said, the universe uh, conspires to enable you to succeed. But but you can only succeed uh, uh, if you persevere. The gods help those who help themselves. And that is very true. And uh, when you keep knocking on the doors, somebody will open the door. They will say, finally, this is exactly you know, what went through. 
the the minister minister whom I went and met finally I said and I, I burst into his office and I said where's my license why have you taken two years the prime minister is making these kind of speeches he said captain why didn't you come to me earlier it must have flashed in his mind that I'll take the money from why should I take it from this young man who is uh, you know ex army officer uh, I'll take it from somebody else who's a rich industrialist because politicians need money for their uh, elections for their parties. Um, uh, and um, they will take money, but they're also good people. Uh, for every uh, 10, uh, 10 uh, corrupt, there will be one good. So you need to have also this uh, generosity of, of a spirit. That is, uh, you cannot become cynical. You can't, you know, abuse, you know, everything is bad. Uh, everything is rotten in this country. Uh, you know, let me get, get away to America. Nothing is, uh, nothing works here. Uh, no, I mean, who will come to clean up our own country? You know, we have to clean it up ourselves. The, the politician is you in the mirror. The politician is you in the mirror. So uh, you have to have this, have this optimism. Uh, this optimism uh, that the world is good. That, of course, there are uh, crooked guys, but there are also good guys. So you should be able to um, appreciate... Um, good things of life. Um, you should have the generosity of spirit because cynicism and skepticism and uh, being critical of everything uh, will is a slow suicide. Is a slow suicide. It will never get you anywhere. You know, there is a uh, uh, famous story of uh, 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 two frogs which fell into a, 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 a big pot of uh, uh, yogurt curds and um, one was uh, you know, uh, cursing that bad luck and uh, the world is bad and look at his fate and uh, uh, kept uh, praying uh, and cursing and, um, um, uh, and it drowned. The other uh, said, I'll keep, keep swimming, keep swimming. It had no other thought except to keep swimming. And uh, it was in a pot. There was no way it could get out. But then suddenly it found beneath its legs after some time, there's something which is forming and uh, becoming solid. And he, 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 it came to the surface. That was a ball of butter. And the, and the frog jumped out of the... Uh, I mean, this is a, 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 a kind of a fable. But the moral is that... Uh, you know, being cynical and cursing and, uh, you know, gets you nowhere. You have to have that generosity of spirit uh, and a magnanimity uh, to be able to look at uh, good things in life because they're good things. You know, you've got, you've got great music, you've got great literature, um, you've got good people who have succeeded. It could be Narayan Murthy, it could be, um, you know, any number of other people. You have to look at them and take inspiration and take courage. Um, admire the good things in life, uh, admire beauty, admire uh, nature, uh, and uh, even in the very midst of the desert, you should be able to stop and uh, appreciate a flower. Uh, and that kind of, uh, you know, uh, attitude. So what an entrepreneur requires, whatever venture you're in, you require optimism, you know, an inexhaustible uh, mm, optimism about the world that tomorrow um, if I work hard if I don't give up you know good things will happen that optimism is key uh, if you do not have optimism uh, you cannot be um, the, uh, you know either a good employee a manager or a good entrepreneur uh, optimism this that things will work out somehow it will mend that you have to keep at it. It will work out. And uh, so optimism is uh, important because uh, the, most people uh, lose uh, because they become, uh, you know, uh, gloomy. They become... Uh, mm, uh, so in, in each of my ventures, uh, whether it was the helicopter company or the airline, uh, I never saw uh, uh, the obstacles. Uh, I, I only saw the, the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, uh, for an energetic man, 
you know, uh, the, 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 there are uh, possible uh, houses, possible buildings, possible empires, um, you know, uh, but uh, for a person who is uh, pessimistic, you will only see fences, you will only see shut doors. So you need to have this, uh, this uh, 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 optimism in life, optimism that good things will happen. And, uh, you know, your, your will, uh, you know, gives you uh, uh, a new eyes. Your uh, focus and concentration doubles your force. And, uh, and, it, and, and this, is, this is the uh, thing, you know, in, in all, all cases, uh, there's no exception to this. So it's uh, C.K. Prahala, the great management guru, once uh, was, was talking to me and, and he said, you know, it is not resources, uh, but being resourceful. Uh, you know, uh, too much of resources uh, uh, and uh, lower uh, ambitions is a recipe for disaster. Uh, less number of resources, you have... Uh, a greater chance uh, uh, of success if the resources are less and uh, you are more you are, you are more resourceful and uh, is it, it, you know so never complain that you don't have enough money uh, never complain you don't have a huge office you had to make do because when I started the helicopter company we started it um, in in two tents uh, you don't you, you cannot start a venture if all obstacles had to be first, uh, you know, removed. You know, many people will say, I want everything to be perfect. I want a good office. I want this. I want that. Then only I'll start my venture. And everything, there'll be no, there'll be no ideal situation. There'll be no perfect, uh, the perfect situation. So after doing reasonable analysis, after doing reasonable homework, after really doing good planning, and don't wait for the perfect day. Don't wait for all obstacles to be removed. You have to have the courage to jump. Uh, if all obstacles had to be removed, no venture can ever, ever start. So you you rely on being resourceful. Um, you know, uh, because the, the speed to market is 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 important. If you have a great idea, and if you keep waiting. If you keep endorsement from everybody, if you want everything to be perfectly uh, this one, and then you are going to start, uh, no venture can start. So, uh, so you know, uh, it, it was said about Emperor Napoleon that uh, you know he 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 said that he he shortened a, a straight line to reach his objective. You know, he shortened a straight line to reach his objective. Uh, uh, he, he he said it is not uh, cannons and guns that win you wars, but lightning speed. So you need to have that lightning speed, uh, which is more important than guns and resources and 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 the cannons. So uh, in all his major battles, he had less number of troops, but he beat very very large armies with huge resources, huge number of guns. He always, you know, vanquished them because of two things that, uh, you know, he had uh, his troops were mo motivated better and uh, he was he had speed. And he said, when you brave death, you, dr you drive it to the enemy's ranks. And I think in, in today's world, what it means is that if you brave death, the death will not happen in your army, it will happen in the other army. So you need to have that uh, that uh, that courage uh, to to take uh, the plunge uh, with whatever resources that you have uh, without diffidence. Uh, the the uh, thing about India today is that uh, there is this uh, uh, feeling that uh, the there are too many there too much of insecurity. If you look at the uh, last uh, thousand years, uh, uh, the world has never been stable. Uh, it has been full of uh, wars, 
pestilences, famines, earthquakes, uh, something or the other disrupting normal life. There has only been a few periods of security. So do not keep complaining and keep looking for security. You know, security is a man's uh, or mortal's or you know, the person's chief enemy. Uh, you know, if you if you want too much of security, uh, you know nothing can be achieved. You know, ships are uh, meant not to be the harbor. A ship uh, has to sail, but you cannot. As Andre G said, you cannot discover new lands if you are not ready to leave the shore for a long time. You have to set say, say, set sail. You have to go on the high seas. Only then you can discover new lands. And uh, that metaphor uh, and, and that reality that uh, you can discover new lands uh, only if you leave the shore. But when you leave the shore, um, it is uh, risky. Um, the, uh, the, there is no safety, but of course you can be safe and in the harbor, but you will never discover anything. So you, uh, uh, as an entrepreneur or as a young man wanting to pursue your own, I'm not saying everybody should be an entrepreneur. You could be a scientist. You could do different things. You have to get out of your comfort zone and uh, and and take the plunge into the unknown. And uh, uh, you know. Too much of analysis, uh, as I say, there's a famous saying, uh, paralysis by analysis. Uh, so too much of analysis uh, will not get you anywhere. There's a point beyond which analysis uh, will not take you further. Uh, uh, then at that time, you have to have a leap of faith. As uh, uh, General Alexander said, uh, the great Alexander, Emperor Alexander said, he said, the future takes care of itself. So you have to have that. Uh, ability uh, to, uh, to 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 embark um, like the first flight of a bird out of its nest. Um, therefore, uh, when you look at India, uh, for la last thousand years, and look at the world, there's no security. But what is there? So nobody can assure you security. But what is there? Uh, because people who have too much of security can never achieve anything great. It's only when you have your skin in the game, when there is, um, you know, a, a, you know, even an aeroplane or a bird, if an aeroplane soars against the wind, you know, a, a plane cannot uh, uh, fly and gain height if the wind is not against it. So that 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 kind of a wind against you is necessary for for you to achieve greater things. So you do not have security, but what you have is opportunity. So in a country uh, when uh, when I when there is a, uh, you know uh, uh, let's say when I found that uh, the infrastructure is bad, that you do not have uh, a, a, you know a, a good connectivity to small towns, then there is an opportunity because you can then that's how I started the helicopter company because uh, helicopters can take you anywhere. In my in fact my my first uh, advertisement for the helicopter company was we had a girl, you know, fishing in a small island, the helicopter in the background. She landed in the helicopter and she was fishing. And it, the ad said, if it is in the map, we'll get you there. Show it to us on the map, we'll take you there. The helicopter company idea came to me because the infrastructure of India was so bad. And so if there is an obstacle uh, that uh, becomes uh, your. Uh, uh, opportunity to remove the obstacle. Uh, so, you know, only 1% of India was traveling. So that's an opportunity. Instead of saying, you know, things are bad, there's nothing here, that that what was an obstacle becomes uh, becomes an opportunity for you. So, but you have to be uh, having lightning speed. So you have to be constantly like a hawk, you know, Nobody teaches it. You know, it's the hawk. You know, when it sees a, a, a mouse or a, a rabbit on the ground, it swoops down. And the thing about uh, many of us is that, you know, we always discover uh, that uh, it was your idea. You had thought of it two years ago, and somebody else has started it. So, uh, you know, the the genius is 
your idea coming back to you with a with a with a with a majesty because you you thought of it but you didn't uh, venture to do it and somebody else does it so uh, uh, india is uh, full of obstacles full of problems uh, but uh, that is also for me uh, a great opportunity uh, in every every field uh, we have the the we have problems and you have to be politically sensitive politically active because you can't live in isolation you have to do even if you're in business you have to do what you can uh, to speak your mind uh, criticize what you have to criticize with uh, with uh, courage but then you know work with the politicians uh, to improve the improve the uh, situation uh, so we have we have uh, a huge population a population of uh, 1.3 billion if if in my younger days you know we were all talking about giving the subsidies and so uh, you know 1.3 billion people to be fed and subsidized uh, but if you say there are 1.3 billion consumers uh, then uh, the country looks different then uh, then the boeing guy and the rolls royce guy and the airbus guy they will come as salesman in front of you and that's how the idea of uh, uh, india uh, of a billion people came to me because when i was on a helicopter flying from goa to bangalore via mangalore and i saw as i was flying over these mountains uh, uh, through the western ghats i found even in remote areas uh, in those days you didn't have direct to home you had these dish antennas uh, i was seeing them flashing in the air i i told the pilot let's fly down a bit and we found there were dish antennas and uh, every village had one dish antenna which had given a cable uh, you know to 30 other houses there was an entrepreneur there who would collect uh, you know uh, you know 200 rupees a month and uh, give you know 15 20 channels i'm talking about in 90 uh, 2002 and what do you see in a, in a in a tv a tv channel you see uh, advertisements for uh, hero honda motorcycles bajaj uh, scooters um uh, advertisements for uh, fair and lovely creams and colgate toothpaste uh, 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 and and it was it was becoming a consumer consumer market so the whole country i saw it as a billion hungry consumers rather than as a billion hungry uh, poor people so that gave me the idea that they are not uh, uh, you know uh, they are buying everything now but they were not buying etiquettes uh And, and that's how the idea of edecan was born and edecan took to the skies so uh, so india is a magazine of plenty but you no know, we always talk of uh, a lot of politicians today are talking about the golden age you know we had a pushpak viman we had plastic surgery uh, you know forget that um, what are we today you know we don't have enough drinking water in our taps we don't have enough uh, you know clean uh, drainages uh there's a lot of poverty there's a lot of malnutrition so we have to look at what can we do in the future what can we do tomorrow rather than looking at the golden age um, a 1000 years ago and gloating that you know we had uh, uh, you know a plastic surgery uh, or we had uh, you know uh, we had a, uh, uh, we had rockets and uh, because you know you saw it in the ramayana uh, i think uh, the golden age for india is not behind us uh the golden age for india is ahead of us uh so with these words i think has taken more time and i think we can uh take any questions quickly uh, uh and uh, i wish you guys all the best thank you sir i don't know if i was uh, i was audible or because uh, i was not seeing any <laughs> reaction from anybody The screen was blank yeah no so you were yeah. perfectly audible yeah quickly what uh, i can i can take two three questions but then i have to run yeah go ahead somebody moderating ananya you're doing it 
Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, th- this is Ashwin, and I would like to know, uh, you know, uh, given the current can situation I, of aviation, can I can I see you? Uh, my Hello. my video is not working, unfortunately. Okay. Just mm. a second. So, uh, given the current situation of aviation in India, uh, which has been severely affected by the coronavirus pandemic, and yeah. you know, uh, over the past few years, we have seen a few airlines. um you know shutting down or making a uh, making huge losses so given the fact that today india which is a huge huge you know huge base for uh, aviation huge aviation market where do you see it going uh, despite the fact that there are very few companies making profit out of it yeah i think uh, it is a worrying uh, question Uh, it's not just india across the world because uh, the bigger the airline the bigger the problem because uh, 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 even though you have been making uh, large profits uh, uh, suddenly everything uh, you know i used to say in deccan that you were my check was f- uh, flying faster than my planes because i was writing so many checks uh, so anything can hit you um, i think um, the 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 person who founded intel has written a book called that every a few years uh, there is a book uh, what is his name the man who founded uh, intel some one of you should know he wrote a book called only the paranoid will survive uh, uh, the, he wrote that book when intel had 80% of the market uh, and he said only the paranoid survive because uh you should be paranoid uh in a you know not in a morbid way but paranoid that your success is not guaranteed things will change either it will change because uh, um, of circumstances like the covid which is uh, something that nobody anticipated but it can also be you know a new technology a new business model uh, uh which will completely wipe you out you know like uh, uh when the digital uh, uh, cameras came kodak was uh, wiped out kodak was the you know was the was the, the the most famous company i think they were they were inventors of uh, and patented many things but they were wiped out and uh, just like motorola got uh, wiped out or nokia got wiped out when uh, steve jobs came with his uh, 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 ipods and uh, uh, iphones so uh, a new technology a, a new business model uh, uh, can uh, j- just like the low cost airlines uh, you know wiped out all the uh, full service uh, carriers and there are a lot of bankruptcies because of that so now uh, all over the world there are huge bankruptcies definitely uh, a few airlines will uh, will uh, fold up many have already folded up and uh, there will be loss of jobs and that's where the uh, the job of the government and uh, comes in where uh, like in america they are doing something they are giving some uh, um, uh, amount of money as grant uh, which has to go directly to the employees because they want to save jobs and they are giving part rest of the money as a, as a, a you know low interest loan or interest free loan uh, but uh, there, this is a, this this kind of a shake out you know there is a famous saying that uh, uh you know when the uh, guy was making horse whips whip, whips for horses he thought he was making whips for horses he never thought he was in the transportation business because when the horses uh, uh, you know were replaced by automobiles he continued to make whips you know he should have been little having a foresight thinking that i'm not in the i'm not in the i'm not in the i'm not in the horse business i'm in the transportation business so similarly uh, airlines um, which are uh, grown too big and uh, now uh, either you have to return the aircraft because uh, if you return the aircraft you're going to lose money because you already locked in for leases if you keep the aircraft the aircraft are not flying so it's a huge challenge and uh, companies uh, must uh, innovate uh, uh, to stay stay afloat when these kind of things uh, hit them but sometimes you know and that's what entrepreneurship is that uh, somebody else comes with a new idea like uh, elon musk in tesla now 
has almost transformed the automobile industry today his his market cap uh, even though he was not in this business is now more than the combined market cap of uh, general motors and ford so uh, it could be a covid it could be a new technology uh, can knock you off the ground and uh, so i don't have any answer for it except that uh, you had to diversify your business uh, you had to have some uh, um reserve money and uh, you have to be nimble uh, in your ability to downsize your business uh, you know uh, uh, which many of the airlines do not do because you want to cling on you don't you want to you do not want to be number you want to re, you do not want to reduce your fleet um, obviously you have to give some compensation and lay off some people but that is cruel uh, but the way the ship will sink uh so they have to have plans and they have to move uh, fast if they have to save the company yes sir thank yeah. you so much sir so i'm really sorry for the lag because my electricity of my house just went at the nick of the hour for a couple of seconds i'm really sorry for that yeah so good evening sir it's an honor to be right next to you to ask you some questions and being re representing my college and my bits family so you are a veteran who served in the elite indian army for 8 years and also fought the bangladesh liberation war in 1971 so a few of my friends harsh and ronak have a question for you what was it like to transition from a man of forces to enter the entrepreneurship line and do you feel your experiences while being in the indian army helped you in the journey as an entrepreneur uh definitely uh, you know many of the you, know, you can't uh, put your uh, finger on it you know some, some people um have a entrepreneurial streak in them some you know develop it uh, when they want to become entrepreneurs if they do not have it because uh um uh, it 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 bloody it bloodies you you know you want to go through a roller coaster and, and ups and downs so this uh, this grit to hold on this uh, uh, this uh, temperament to get up each time you fall uh, you know that is uh, the that is key to the uh, everything so obviously my army background helped me but uh, ultimately along the way Uh, along the way, uh, on the on the fly, you have to course correct, and uh, I mean that's what I did. You know, I kept getting um, knocked down, but uh, I had some um, determination. I had some dream. I said um, I won't give up. You know, uh, so that I think a lot of it helped me from the army. Uh, you know, I had to. Uh, I've already uh, fixed up a, a, a international conference call at eight uh, fifteen. So after another three four minutes, I'll I'll say oh, bye. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sure, sir. I think there's time for one more question. That's it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so what was this? Uh, this from the question is from Pranav. What was uh, one second, driving? One, one second. Just just a second. Uh, sir, now you have a question. Illa, other than you, who number it's called Bandu Top Forty Dilanta. Thank you, sir. Your points actually India England match. Now not there. Not illa, but. ನಿಮ್ಮ ಏನೋ ಲೈಫ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಲೈಫ್ ಲೆಸನ್ಸ್ ಏನೇನು ಹೇಳಿದೀರಾ ತುಂಬಾನೇ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಾಪಸ್ ಏನೋ ಹೋಗಿ ಏನೇನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹೇಳಿದೀರಾ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಏನೋ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯು ಗೈಸ್ ಐ ವಿಶ್ ಐ ಕುಡ್ ಅ ಸೀನ್ ಯು ಸೀನ್ ಯು ಆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಆರ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಟು ಫೇಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸೋ ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ಸಮ್ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ and uh, the you know you must uh, follow your dreams and follow your passions and beat your own trail you know uh, get inspired by others but you have to discover your own dreams and beat your own trail yeah, thank you thank you so yeah. much mridula desai <laughs> it's a pleasure thank you. to you all the while thank you thank you so much yeah all the lessons that we learned today about it <laughs> thank you so much bye thank you bye bye good night